Okay, here is a test problem from class. So name, I should put that up here. Rhett Elaine. See, I spelled it right. Made it legible. You like that? Okay. So a hockey puck has mass of 0.12 kilograms and is traveling in the X direction. So here's my hockey puck. And the mass is 0.12 kilograms. And it has a, a speed of 3.2 meters per second. And then there's a hockey stick with a force uh, like this, F. And they give this a vector. I give it. I actually wrote this question. No surprise here. 1.2, 3.20 newtons for delta t of 0 0.1 seconds. So what's the velocity vector of the puck after the hit? Okay, so this is going to use the momentum principle. So the momentum, print, bleh, momentum principle says F net is delta P over delta T, where P is equal to MV. So if I write this as, let me write it down here. So I can write F net, this is called P1, and then it's going to get hit, and then it's going to be going like that, P2. So F net is P2 minus P1 over delta T. Now I multiply both, multiply both sides by delta T, and I get P2 minus P1 equals F net delta T. So now I add P1 to both sides, I get P2 equals P1 plus F net delta T. Now what, what is F net? Now that is a tough question, but if you think about it from this, if you look at this from the side view, here's my hockey puck, and here's ice. There is a gravitational force pulling down on it, but there's also a normal force pushing up on it that is the exact same magnitude in the same direction. So that when I then push with this force from the hockey stick, these two forces cancel and the only force on it is from the hockey stick. So this F net is just that. Uh, so I need to write this as P1 and then I can find P2. So P2, I'll write it out. It's going to be P1, which is the mass. Uh, I'll write it out as 0.12 kilograms. I'm going to leave off the units just for simplicity times the vector, I need this as a vector. So it's in the x direction of 3.2 meters per second, zero, zero, plus this, 1.2, 3.20 times 0.1. Okay, so let's do just the x direction, x direction first, okay? So uh, I'm gonna write P2 equals the vector. Okay, let's see if my calculator's working. Oh, now definitely not working. I pulled the magnet thing off. I need to get this to work better. Yeah, it works. Okay. So I'm going to say 0.12, enter, 3.2 times. Now I need to do this. 1.2, enter, times 0.1, which actually that shouldn't be too hard, right? But I'll do it anyway. 0.1 times, and then I need to add those two together, plus. So I get the 0 0.504. Now for the y direction, this is going to be 0 0.12 times 0 plus 0 0.32 times 0 0.1. So 0 0.32 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.32 and then 0, 0, 0. And that's kilogram meters per second. Now the problem asks for not the momentum but the velocity. So this is equal to mv2. So v2 is going to be equal to P2 divided by M. So that's going to be equal to 0 0.504, 0 0.320 divided by 0 0.12. Now, so I have to divide every component by that 0 0.12. So I get a V2 equals, let's just do it right here. I already have 0 0.504 in there. And then I say 0 0.12 divided by, and I get 4.2, and I say 0 0.32, enter, 0 0.12 divided by, and yes, this is my RPN calculator, just in case you're asking. I'm just going to write this as 2.67, and then 0 meters per second, and that's the answer. Now let's just think about that for a second, because it was going 3.2 meters per second in the x direction, now it's speeding up in the x direction. That's because the force did push it in the x direction. And it also has some velocity in the y direction because the force pushed in the y direction. So the velocity in the y direction changed too. So there's your answer. If you want to find the magnitude, you can. Um, 
but you don't have to. So that's it.